Welcome guys into this new video to Express. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started in creating a quiz directly into Google Forms. Simple and effective. So first of all, what I need to do is to access Google Forms. I do have the site.google.com so I can add this form directly into Google Forms. But if you wanted to have an actual quiz and use that quiz and not adding this directly into a website, then what I need to do is to go here into my applications and go for forms, which in this case here it is. Or just focus into docs.google.com fast forward slash forms. Now here what you need to do is to look out and start a new form. So once you are into the Google Forms, click into a blank template or a blanked form. So you will be prompted to give a form title. So go ahead and name it something relevant to your quest. So let's say for example, you could go for Zodiac uh, compatible and the form description this is just an example now I have the add the questions it is time to add some questions to your quest so you can choose from a variety of question types including multiple choices check boxes drop down short answers and so much more so click simply just click into the question at number one so for example here I have the untitled questions so I can choose for example what is the actual question in this case let's go for 10 plus uh, 30 and here have option 1 40 uh, here option 2 let's go for 50 option number 3 let's go for 20 and there you go so in this case now that we have just uh, added of course this elements if you created a great quest you need to set correct answers for each question so to do this what you want to do is to click into the answer key option at the bottom of each question to select the correct answer so for that here into the left part you can see that we have the images the videos the section so i choose this three dot and go to the section based on an answer if somebody let's say um select this answer this one should be taking you into section number one or into the submit form directly if all of the whole section should be an actual quiz then what you can do is just to make sure that we have removed this element let's go into settings and enable the section that says make this a quiz so I assign point values, I set answers and automatically provide some feedback. So immediately after each submission, we can release some grades if you want to. So missed questions, you can tell what are the correct answers, you can tell what are the point values. And of course, question default point values, so for example, for every question will be by point. And the responses, how responses are collected and protected. So collect email address if you wanted to. And if you wanted to add uh, presentation and show the progress bar, uh, shuffle question order, and all of that. So now I'm going to hit now back. And you can see that I can delete now this element. So I'm going to go to the section based on answers. This is the actual correct answer. Of course, I needed to change the value because this is not the right issue though. And then later on, I can add a new one. So to add a new one, let's go into add a question. So into add question, what I can do is to do exactly the same thing. For example, here, now I'm going to go for zero and I go for five, I go for 10. Once again, I focus into answer key, one point, select your correct answer and hit now into done. And you do it so on and on. So I'm going to just add a last one and let's go for 10, 10 times 10. Now here, as you can see, we have a short answer. So the short answer should be exactly as the correct answer, which in this case should be this element. Here is, this is the actual only correct answer. So make all the others answers incorrect. And lastly, hit now into done. So I now have three different uh, questions here. So lastly, what I need to do is to customize my theme into the upper side. I can change the colors, I can change the background, I can change a lot of stuff. But in this case, I'm going to just leave this as it is. Let's go for send. And I have an actual link. I shorten my URL, I copy it, and I'm going to open a private window. So we can now start to try out my actual quest. So let's go and focus into this new section. I paste my quest. And you can see that we have now the title, the description, and the three questions here. So let's assume, for example, that I wanted to enable here a wrong question, which in this case would be, for example, this one. Now I'm gonna go for zero, and lastly here, I go for this answer. 
I hit now into send. And lastly, what you can do is to choose the option that says see my score. So now, since I am the actual person who makes this quiz, I know which is now the right answer, which is the correct answer, and that will be actually it. If you don't want it to have this element, you can disable those. But as you can see, it's going to be really easy to use this Google Forms inside your actual Google account. Whether it's for school work, for just for fun, Google Forms makes it easy to create and show interactive quizzes, guys. So if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to TaxPrice for more tech tutorials and tips. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.